Let me start with the deniers, the revisionists. The denial or distortion of history is an intentional assault on truth. Understanding the past is crucial to how people understand themselves, their society, and how to achieve their common goals. Dok su njihova tijela padala u masovne grobnice, mašinerija poricanja ovih zločina je stavljena u pogon. Međunarodni krivični sud za bivšu Jugoslaviju ili MKSJ je istražio ove zločine, vodio krivične postupke i izrekao presude za njih. The first events that we look at uh, Eastern Bosnia and Srebrenica really start um, in May of 1992 when uh, Karadzic and his um, Bosnian Serb government um, proclaims uh, that they want to be separate from uh, the other ethnic groups. Nemojte da mislite da nećete odvesti Bosnu i Hercegovinu u pakao, a muslimanski narod možda u nestanak. Jer muslimanski narod ne može da se odbrani ako bude rat ovdje. We see the ethnic cleansing uh, beginning with the beginning of the war. By November 1992, there's a struggle over eastern Bosnia, a military struggle. Uh, and we see uh, Mladic's what's called Directive 4, which is an order to militarily defeat um, the Bosnian Muslim forces of Nasser Oric. And in the same order, he says, and remove the civilian population. So when it comes to the events before the fall of Srebrenica, due to the, the fighting between uh, the Muslims and um, the Bosnian Serbs, many people had fled um, to Srebrenica, to the area of Srebrenica. And um, due to the situation, there the UN decided in 93 to declare the area um, a safe area. That's where we are in early 1995 and with Directive 7, Karadzic and Mladic um, write down that they want to make life unbearable for the Muslims in Srebrenica so that they cannot survive there, which was a, a way of saying just keep the pressure on them, eventually make it so they'll, they'll have to leave. They were using a strategy of war crimes, as I would put it, uh, committing atrocities deliberately, murdering, raping, uh, forcibly evicting people, simply to be able to get that control of the territory. Following the directive, the enclave of Srebrenica was attacked on 6 July 1995. The Serb forces entered the enclave, which resulted in the Bosnian Muslim population fleeing from uh, Srebrenica town to Potocari, where they were seeking refuge at the UN compound. While they were fleeing there, they were also shelled by the Serb forces, and um, eventually there were between 25 to 30,000 people uh, in, in the Potocari compound. the <laughs> uoči još jednog velikog praznika srpskoga, poklanjamo srpskom narodu ovaj grad i napokon došao je trenutak da se posle bune protiv Dahija Turcima osvetimo na ovom prostoru. 
the people in Potuchari were exposed to um, horrific conditions because there was hardly any food and water. Of course, the people got more and more afraid of what would happen next. Ja, ne bi tačno znala reč šta se tamo dešavalo, ali jedino su dopirali neki krici. While the Muslim population um, was seeking refuge in Potocari, there were three meetings that took place at the famous Hotel Fontana. Tokom sastanka sa predstavnicima lokalne muslimanske zajednice, general Mladić im je dao zastrašujući ultimatum. Nema potrebe da ginu vaš. Ni vaš muž, ni vaša braća, ni vaše komšite. Dovoljno je da kažete šta želite. I sinovac sam rekao, gospodin, možete opstati ili nestati. After the last uh, meeting at the Hotel Fontana, buses arrived to take the people out of Potocari. What happened was that the VRS separated the men from the women. <laughs> The women and children and elderly left in the buses and the men were taken away to Bratunac first, where they had to stay in buses overnight. When the men were being uh, taken to the buses, for one, they were not allowed to go back and pick their belongings. So they were being put in the buses without their belongings, without the items that they were forced to leave out there. So they were taken towards the buses one by one, like they are prisoners of war. And in between the buses, there were soldiers to ensure that one does not cross. So they were all taken in. This was one of the saddest moments that I ever had in that area, in that you could see men, real men crying, asking us, you umprofo, where are you letting these people take us? Why are you letting them go with us? Why do you want us to be killed by these people? And we could ask them, you know, what, what do you think they are going to do to you? And they say, really, these people are going to kill us. Why, are they, why did they in the first place separate us from our families? Why are they taking us in buses? Do you know where these buses are going to? And it's true, we really did not know. Thousands of men were actually arrested in, in, um, or held in schools and other locations in Bratunac and then taken to uh, Swanik where they were also detained in in several locations before being transported to execution sites on the 13th of July. <laughs> <laughs>